Hey guys, so we're out here in Maui where Qualcomm just announced the Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 mobile platform. And this is basically their flagship mobile chipset for 2020. You're pretty much gonna see it in like every single flagship Android phone in the coming year. And there's a lot to unpack here. So I kind of just figured I'd do like a top five video for the top five features that this platform is enabling. Now, first things first, this is still a seven nanometer chipset. So no, there's no die shrink since the 855 but that doesn't mean that it's not quite a bit better. There are a lot of improvements in this chipset, so let's get to it. And first things first, we gotta start with performance and battery efficiency. Now, Qualcomm is rating the Snapdragon 865 to have 25% better performance and battery efficiency over the 855, and that's a pretty big jump. That's mostly due to the fact that they're now using the A77 chip from ARM for the CPU. And that's just a much better architecture because it's around the same clock speed as it was in the last chip. The prime core is 2.85 gigahertz and the big core is 2.4 gigahertz. But the architecture is just so much better that you're getting 25% better power efficiency and 25% better performance. Number two, we're talking GPU, and Qualcomm is rating the new Adreno 650 to have about 25% better performance than the Adreno 640 and 35% better battery efficiency. So you can kind of see a trend going here. You've got quite a bit better performance and quite a bit better battery efficiency across the board. Now something else that's pretty cool with this GPU, it's gonna support 144 Hertz HDR10 plus QHD plus displays. And that's really nice to see because we've seen 90 Hertz displays, we've seen 120 Hertz displays just this year alone. And that means that we're probably going to see high refresh rate displays become a lot more popular in 2020. And the fact that it has HDR10 plus is just icing on that cake. Now something else that's cool about the Adreno 650 is that the GPU drivers are actually separated from the rest of the chipset. And that's pretty much how traditional GPUs have worked in like desktops and laptops previously. You would download the GPU drivers because the manufacturer could issue updates for it. And that means that you'll now be able to download drivers for the Adreno 650 GPU over the Google Play Store. So your GPU is gonna get better over time. Number three, we've got overall about 2x AI performance in this chip and 4x tensor performance in the tensor processor in the DSP. And there's also about 35% better battery efficiency as well. So again, we're going a lot more performance and a lot more battery efficiency in this chip. That's gonna help with things like semantic segmentation in the camera where it can separate aspects of your face and cloth and apply filters differently to make the image look overall better. There's obviously a lot of use cases for AI and smartphones and head over to the website because of course we've got an article on that too. Number four, this is the first smartphone to support the new X55 modem from Qualcomm. And this is a 5G modem. There are a lot of benefits to this modem. If you want to read them, we've got an X50 versus X's 55 modem over on the website. So make sure you head over there because there's a lot more information in that article than I could really feasibly put in a top five video. Number five, and maybe most impressively, is the new Spectra ISP that's in the Snapdragon 865. Now, the biggest thing is that it can process two gigapixels per second of data, and that's a huge increase. And usually you're gonna have to just bump the clock speed to get more data throughput, but Qualcomm actually did the opposite. They're lowering the clock speed and they're processing four pixels per clock instead of one pixel per clock at a higher clock rate. This has a lot of benefits because you're saving about 16% energy efficiency and you can process way more data, which is enabling a lot of different things. One of those is 200 megapixel images. Another is 8K 30 FPS video, 4K 120 FPS video, 720p 960 FPS video sustained for over 10 minutes. There's so many benefits to this. I actually did a deep dive into all the new features that are coming to the camera because of the two gigabit per second processing. So make sure you head over to the website to check that out. And that's gonna about wrap it up for our top five in the Snapdragon 865. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comment section below or head over to androidauthority.com. Like I've said before, we've got so many articles. If you like reading, you're gonna love what you see over there. So until next time, I'll catch you in the next video. Tensor processor in this DSP. And that's a pretty, what else?